guy's on the phone. He says there was a poll taken. I'm the second ugliest person in America. Oh. Mike. Hey, Howard. Where was this poll taken? It's on uh, CompuServe.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says you're the second ugliest person behind Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson got 48%. You got 27%. Wow. And Anna Nicole Smith is 11, Roseanne Barr 7, Tom Petty 4%, and Oprah 3. So why am I bothering going to the gym and stuff and staying thin if I'm that ugly? I think they're right, by the way. I don't. But wait a minute. You always say even if a girl has a butter face, <laughs> she can get away with a, hey, you know, a good body. Can I tell you something? And this is not a, uh, even a joke. I agree with them. I do. I, mean, I, so I look in the mirror, I want to throw up. Oh, stop. But I, no, 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 Robin, I'm not joking now. Let me just... You can't be that reprehensible to yourself. Yes. Oh. I think I think Michael Jackson is uglier than me, but everyone else is better looking. That's not true. Yeah, I, but that's how I feel inside. Well, Howard, that's a feeling. Not that's true. not reality. Well, it feels real to me. And wouldn't you get used to looking at yourself, even if you were super ugly? No, and you know, as a matter of fact, like even like I look at Adam, and I don't think Adam's like a real good looking guy. I think Adam's funny looking. <laughs> I'm sure he's glad to you. You know, I'm uncomfortable with the way Adam looks, and, and I feel Adam is better looking than me. <laughs> All right, we just had Jamie in here. You better looking than Jamie no, or not? No, I'm not. Jamie's better looking. I mean, Jamie's just weird. You know, Jamie's but like... why do you have more confidence than him? I mean, J.D., he's like... He just doesn't have confidence. If he got himself together, he, he, he'd be getting checks. Where's your confidence coming from? Oh, the radio show and all that. Oh. You were like him before you did radio? I'm not as bad. He's a mess. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, but I mean, I think Benji what? is uglier than me, but I'm not even sure. But, He's not that horrible. But doesn't your better body make up for it? My body's not that great. I look in the mirror. It's not that good. <laughs> I mean, for all the working out I do, I should be ripped. I should look like a KC kind of ripped. Uh-huh. And I got, uh, I got a belly. Oh. I mean, you know, it's a mess. I mean, you, listen, you, you got a hot girlfriend. You make a yeah, lot of money. Care? No, no, no. Don't try to make me feel better. It's too late. It's th yeah, it's too late. This is the way I feel about myself. So and when I hear this poll. You're not, you're I'm not, not in disagreement. I, uh, sadly, I agree. Who was number three? Number three? Um, Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah. Number and by the way, she's one. not ugly. She's just fat. Yeah. She ruined her look. Yeah, she's got a great face. But I see myself in the mirror. I know. I'm not kidding myself. I, in, fact, in fact, I was watching the E! show, a tape of the one where uh, we were talking to... Oh, I know who it was. Yeah. The wheelchair guy with the multiple uh, mu muscular dystrophy and, uh, and the porn star, Tabitha Stevens. Okay, yes, yes. Ugh. But I'm sitting there and I'm going... The goddamn kid in the wheelchair looks better than me. No, you're, I'm looking at the you're show. better looking than that kid. I'm not, and I see. I, I, my neck is skinny, the Adam's apple. My How face looks skinny neck? And my face is very narrow, and my nose and the... From the side, I don't look so bad, but as soon as I look directly into that camera, it's like a nightmare. And I can't even believe it. Ugh. And then I saw private parts, and I was like... Those close-ups, <laughs> just frighteningly bad. Why would you go back and look? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm saying when I saw it the first time on the big screen, I went, my God. <laughs> what about the poster with the big muscles? And <laughs> that isn't even my arms. Let's be honest. <laughs> hey, yeah, some asswipe added those in. I didn't ask him to do that. That's my chest, though. I'll give myself that. They gave you new arms? Give me new arms. I don't have arms like that. Christ, I got skinny pipe cleaner arms. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. I uh, I know it's true. They so don't I need to make lists like that, though. I am better than Michael Jackson only because he screwed himself up so much. He was yeah, a handsome was a black man. Guy. Turned himself into an ugly white girl. <laughs> I mean, he's just this hideous. I mean, this he's hideous beyond belief. Yeah, and that sounds impossible to do, but he did. Yeah, but I'm I'm right up there with him. No. And they're right. I am. I'm not a handsome guy. I'll tell you who's uglier than me, and not by much. Alan Combs. Oh, yeah. Well, he's weird looking. Yeah. Me too. No, you're not weird looking. You oh. look like a human being. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Combs doesn't look like a human being. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're better looking than Linda Tripp. Yeah? No, I'm not. Yes, I'm are. really not. Oh, my God. If Linda Tripp she's lost weight, she'd be idiot. better looking than me. No way. There's no hope for her. Yeah. She might as well keep the weight on. 
that that even when they fixed her face, they couldn't fix her face. <laughs> no, she's better looking than me. I don't think so. I think so. I that think I'm the second ugliest idiot. person in America. I know some other people that you're much better looking than. That yeah. list is wrong. Name a famous person who's uglier than me. Uh, Fran Lebowitz. Fran Lebowitz. She's pretty bad. That, she's, I got better hair than you're her. You're better than her. All right. Oh, uh, how about... Uh, <laughs> I, you know what? I got Okay. <laughs> you got to give me that one. All right. I'm better looking than Fran Lebowitz. I'll give you that one. I can how, about Marty, that. how about Marty Allen? Hey, oh, but, you're definitely better than Marty. Yeah, well, Marty yeah. Allen, his day wasn't that bad. Now, Will, no, he had a nicer Marty face than I did. No. no. Now, Will said this, and I think I agree. You're better looking than Belzer. Richard Belzer? Yes. I think yeah. I'm on par with oh, Richard Belzer. On. I think he's as ugly as I am. <laughs> I look at Belzer and I go, you know what? At least, he, at least he has he cut his hair and he has a nice haircut. And he's not ashamed that he's ugly. <laughs> he shows that face. He doesn't cover it up with hair. Do you think Leno's better looking than you? Yes. Yes. Oh, you really look. I absolutely know he is. Much better looking than me. Oh, much. Much. You don't even. Exactly. Jay Leno is much better looking than I am. Robin, you think Leno's better looking than Howard? No. Because she said, you know, not that much. You think? But I mean, if he was going to say he's better looking, he can't say by that much because Leno's not a good looking guy. And in the last year, I've gotten a lot worse. Oh, what? Yeah. You've changed? Yeah, I'm getting worse. What are you talking? I about? don't know. What happened last in the last year? I don't know. What, what? are you talking? Well, you would have to show me where you've changed. How about Larry King? Oh, you're much better looking no. than Larry King. I think I'm on par with Larry King. No, no, I mean, no, I can no, goof no. on Larry King all I want, but you know, we're both very ugly. <laughs> Sorry. Robert, I have that Larry King kind of look. If you and Larry King were in a bar, do you think more women would hit on him? I think I would probably Take get more women. Any of your... of his, because he's older. No, no. Take away any of your um, fame. Right. Or but, but Larry King's a creep. He's a He's creepy, creepy, ugly guy. Well, forget about that. Go with somebody that's like around your age group. You want to know something? And you're going to think I'm saying Larry this is it. You're going to think. Oh, oh, that. that's I'm going to tell you something. Adam. You think I'm joking about this, but I'm going to say I something right now. Not. What? But that I think Jerry Lewis, the way he looks now, is better looking than me. You're nuts. You're ridiculous. You're I'm nuts. not kidding. Oh, you, you need to see your doctor seven yeah. days a week. No. I Robin, what's that guy's name? That um, he's probably around your age, maybe a little bit younger. He's a heavy set Hispanic guy. He's got a TV show. Oh, that George Lopez. Yeah. Do you think you're George better looking Lopez. than George no, Lopez? No, I'm not. Howard. I'm not. He, he's got a wandering eye. Yeah, but he's he's Mexican, so he has a disadvantage. It's not fair. <laughs> well, that's it. You're being ridiculous. You really have no concept. Well, according to that poll, I'm the second ugliest person in America, and I agree. Are you better looking than Reuben Stoddard? No, Ruben Stoddard's good looking. He's just Get fat. Out. He's well, handsome. You've got to take that into account. He's crazy. Fat. No, he's better looking than I am. At least when you see him on camera, he's got a normal looking face. You have a normal looking face. No, there's something wrong. Horribly wrong no, in my face. Like the you said, Alan the... Combs, there's something wrong. Alan Combs is uglier than I am. <laughs> he is. But, no, but Larry he's... King and I are on par. No. Larry King is Larry King's hideous. very hideous. He looks like a he, lizard. He and you know what? Scary. I'm no better. He's scary. Well, me too. And you're not. I've never heard seen anybody flinch when you walk into a room. Cousin Brucey's better looking than me. All right. They were talking about this in the office. Are you better looking than Janet Reno? Yes. All right, good. You're not Thank completely you. insane. But not by much. <laughs> well, wait a second. <laughs> but not by much. I mean, we're on the same... Page, you're a better looking guy than she is a girl, but you're not a better looking guy than she right. is a guy. Right. <laughs> she's so mad and she's a better looking man than oh, I am. Oh, stop it. <laughs> she, she would be a distinguished gentleman, yeah. But uh, I really, I, I'm not saying this to be funny. I'm not saying it to be amusing. Are you, I can't Nixon argue with the poll. And why are people much. saying it in the poll? It must be true. Because they're being mean. No. But Richard Nixon, were you better looking than Richard Nixon? No. No, I'm not. Oh, get out. Ozzy Osbourne's better looking than me. I went to dinner with the guy. Go, he's better looking than I am. And he's shaking. No, he's not. He is. He is not. To me, he is. Buscemi. Who? Steve Buscemi. You know what? As weird as looking as that guy is, he's better looking than I am. No, he's not. He is? No, that is not true. How about um, Henry Kissinger? <laughs> Without the glasses on, he's better looking than me. Get out. You're being ridiculous. How about Woody Allen? I'm better looking than Woody Allen, but not. But I'm in that category. On the list, way up there. Because people didn't think of him. And that's all. That's it. Did you have any more games of today? 
No, no, no more prizes. Okay. Have a lovely day. Well, yeah, thanks. With your new information, it'll be great. Yeah, that was very nice of you. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Howard. <laughs> what is it, Kathy? I think that you're very beautiful. <laughs> I know who you are, Sean. Uh, Just get off the phone. That was funny. Ah, anyway, Hume Cronin at the age of 91. Some people will, uh, most people will remember him probably from the Cocoon movies, which he did with his wife. He is survived by his third wife. He did remarry after just Oh, really? Died. Yeah. I see women catch their breath after they see me. Oh, that's not true. They're swooning. <laughs> yeah. Or ridiculous. vomiting, whatever. How could you get a girl who looks like Beth if you were that hideous? I don't and know. And she came after you. No, I don't get that. <laughs> what? But isn't it academic if you have someone who looks like Beth and you have a good life? Yeah, but, but wait a second. That's not the point. No, my point is she went after you. You couldn't be hideous. She felt bad for me. Uh, right. Drummed up that much sympathy in a second. But I was heartbreaking. Oh, that's in the mornings, not when she met you. No, she told me when she met me. Oh, that's not true. Anyway, here's uh, Leonard Malton to remember Hume Cronin. He says uh, he was capable of doing almost anything before. You think there's anyone in our audience that knows who Hume Cronin is besides me and you? Yes. I don't even, I don't even think... Everybody's seen Cocoon even on TV. All right. Who was this guy? Leonard, Leonard Malton, Malton, the Malton. movie guy, yeah. Hmm. He was a very versatile actor. He was a character actor. But even as a young character actor, he could do almost anything. I think I'm better looking than Leonard Moulton. <laughs> he, he did a very funny skit opposite the great Fanny Bryce. And all right, all right. Oh enough with this. God, Fanny Bryce. I feel like I'm on a Joe really Franklin show. Back. Jim, you're on the air. That's absolutely true. Yes, Jim, go ahead. Yes, Howard, how you doing? I, I don't know why you're limiting yourself to uh, people be in the United States. I think you're... you're you must, are possibly the ugliest person in the world. I don't think I'm the ugliest. I think I'm the second ugliest. No, you know what? I, I, I still know. think I'm better looking than Michael Jackson. That's it. Uh, Dude, why pile on and beat me minute. up? Yeah. I've already uh, stated to you that I have no, this no, horrible no, opinion of my. But I've done, but I've beaten you to the punch. What what what's the what's the You're point? You're better looking than Yasser well, Arafat. Like if we're opening up to the world, I think I'm the same as Yasser oh, Arafat. I think I'm the same as Saddam Hussein. I don't think I'm better looking than them. I don't know. I think Yasser Arafat is just as ugly as I am. Yeah, he's yeah. uglier. And I think I'm uglier. That's not a bad looking guy. Get... All right, Jim. We heard you. We know I'm ugly. Okay. Okay, Jim, you had your big fun for the day, you I dick. I wonder what Jim looks like. Yeah, Listen, you're no you beauty either. Us. You would never. All right. Beth. Now it's all about Beth. It's about me. I mean, it with Beth. But Beth. Yeah, let me just say something to Jim. This is not about his beautiful girlfriend. This is about Howard being grotesquely Ugly. unattractive. Thank yes. you. <laughs> and by the way, Adam, you you are odd looking too. I'm not odd looking. Yes, you are. You got a strange mouth and everything. Oh man. Doesn't he? Well, he's no, got, got a, feel a bad. yellow tooth that bothers me. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> There's something going on there. Uh, what, what do you want me to do? I went to the dentist. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. <laughs> do you really have a yellow tooth? I got a couple. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some problems. Why can't they fix that? It's really the white tooth that makes the yellow ones look bad. <laughs> you ought to go to Dr. Matthew Kaufman. Where is he? He's right here in Manhattan. I love the guy. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the local, local uh, Audi dealership, get the A8, and drive it out there to Dr. Kaufman. There you go. That'll take care of everything. All right. All right. Now, uh, on the marriage scene, you know, there have been a lot of uh, domestic problems this week. Hold on. You really think I have a weird mouth? <laughs> <laughs> You're not good looking, and neither am I. Let's face it. This couldn't be news to you, Adam. Uh, and what know, did you? People are people are nicer. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think Jimmy got the job on ABC and you didn't? Because you're as mouth. funny as he is. Really? It's a, it's a looks thing. Uh, yellow teeth and a weird mouth. You think that Jimmy Kimmel is better looking than Adam? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Better looking than me. Oh. Oh, so you're just doing the math. So I'm not better looking than you, but Jimmy's better looking than you, so he has to be better looking than me? Right. <laughs> That's how it works out. Jimmy's got a better dentist than you. <laughs> what, what is it, Matt? Matt. No, Matt. Mm-hmm. Al, what's up? Uh, you're being too hard on yourself. 
first of all, how can you, how can you even put yourself in the same class with Alan Combs? Jesus. No, he I said Bernie's ugly. No, Alan Combs is very ugly. <laughs> and I said he, he's uglier than me. I should really be the third ugliest person in the world. No, you're not even you're not even the second or third ugliest person for radio. Are you uglier than I am? Yes. No, you're not. You're not. No, no. You're not even the third ugliest person in that room. Not counting Robin and Fred. What kind of phone is Al on? I didn't. Th I know times are tough for Al, but I didn't realize the phone was cutting out like this. <laughs> That's a pay phone. Thank you, Al. Okay. A pay phone. Who the hell uses a pay phone? Al, I hope they don't get rid of them all. Al will never be able to contact us again. Here's some commercials. We'll finish the news right after this. All right, Robin, it's news time, and yes. we're finishing up the news. Adam Carolla joining us from Crank Anchors Sunday nights at 9.30 on Comedy Central. I just took a long, hard look in the mirror, and I think you're right, Howard. <laughs> nah, don't feel bad about yourself. You know, what's so important about being good-looking anyway? Just opens, up, just opens up every door. You're right. Society doesn't put any kind of uh, <laughs> priority on looks. <laughs> Not the one we're living in. Not if you're no. in L.A. or New York. <laughs> no. The rest of the country, like the Midwest, is very big on looks. <laughs> yeah, if we were in Louisiana, that'd be something else. If you're out in Manhattan, I'm here in Hollywood. It's a I'm different so. environment here. <laughs> Robin, what else is in the news? Give me more, Howard. Howard.